Alright guys, I'm back with my WWE Fastlane 2014 review. Now, I'm getting this up early because basically I don't want to like basically like uh, tomorrow I don't want to really basically do like a loads of videos, because I've got loads of stuff to re review tomorrow. Um, I've got loads of videos going up tomorrow so I don't really want to review that tomorrow that morning or you know tomorrow night. So I want to get this review up tonight and get it uploaded and reviewed. So this guys is my WWE Fastlane 2015 review of Fastlane and with the WWE this was a new pay per view for the WWE and I thought uh, you know I thought for the WWE this was a new pay per view and I thought you know what uh, this wasn't a bad show for the WWE I thought um, the segments I liked uh, I'm going to talk about the segments I liked first and then I'm going to talk about the I'm going to review it at the I'm going to review it in a minute I liked how the WWE had that Sting Triple H segment that Brawl they had was brilliant. Um, I enjoyed the promo at Triple H cut. Yes, yeah, Sting didn't do, uh, he didn't talk or anything, but you had uh, a brilliant Brawl and then Sting pointed to the WrestleMania sign. Brilliant. And then, you know, uh, they confirmed it earlier. They confirmed it um, er, like later on in the show that it's going to be Sting with the Triple H WrestleMania, so that was one match confirmed for WrestleMania. The other match was going to be the other wrestling match was going to get decided later on in, in the night, which was between Reigns and Bryan. Um, the Rusev Cena match, I didn't. I thought it kind of started slow in the last 10 to 15 minutes. It started to pick up pace, but like I said, I thought the show overall was a a, a, a good show for the WWE. It's a different pay per view, so I thought it's a passing grade. It's a I thought it's just going to be a passing grade. But it was a good pay per view nonetheless. So, uh, w so fast lane opened. So we opened up fast lane with um, a six man tag match. It was Ryback, D Dolph, Ryback, and Rowan versus Rollins, Big Show, and Kane. Um, this was an all right tag match. Um, you had uh, Kane, Dominate, Ryback, and then uh, Ryback gets a hot tag in Dolph. It's a DDT on Kane, then uh, the ref is distracted by Seth Rollins, then Big Show hits a KO punch on um, Dolph, and then Kane gets the win, and Team Authority get the win over Dolph, Ryback, and Rowan. I thought that was a, a good match. After the match, uh, the Authority attacking are attacking all three guys, and then Randy Orton comes out, gets a great pop from the crowd, RKO's JJ Security, and um, Kane, uh, Rollins and Big Show run away so it looks like at Wrestlemania we're going to have Rollins versus Orton so they're probably going to confirm that for tomorrow night uh, I, I think that's going to be a good feud um, and probably they're going to have Kane, hopefully Kane versus Big Show in a retirement match and then we get to a segment where Dusty, sa uh, Dusty says that it doesn't matter what happens between you and Cody tonight I'll still be your dad and I'll still be supporting you nonetheless he says that uh, Goldust says tonight that he's going to beat Stardust uh, uh, so badly that um, Cody will not want to be Stardust again. So the second match tonight was Goldust versus Stardust. Um, it's, uh, basically, the match was all right. I guess it wasn't. A, I think they had a they had a, a great match. I thought I did. I thought it was an all right match. I didn't think it, it wasn't. It didn't live up to the hype that I think it should do, but I think they're going to save it for WrestleMania anyway. Uh, Gold Swiss by a roll up. It was kind of a screwy finish because kind of like the ref counted one, two, and then he like he like said three quick. He like shouted three, and it didn't even count the fall. He like like one, two, and he went three. <laughs> like that is going to be a botch mania. That was a total botch in my opinion. He counts one, two on the mat, and then he just goes three. He just shouts three, and then the match is over. Right. Uh, I don't know, but it was a screwy finish after the match. Cody Rhodes attacks Goldust and then tells his dad that uh, Goldust is just an old, uh, old washed-up Attitude Era, an old wrestler from the Attitude Era who's washed up. And then the third match tonight was for the WWE Tag Team Titles. It was the Usos defending against Tag Team Kane and Cesaro. This was a really awesome match. I really enjoyed this match. The fans were really into this match. A lot of false finishes. Uh, Tyson Kidd uh, and uh, Cesaro, uh, the Usos dive on both uh, Cesaro and Kidd. Then at the end of the match, Tyson Kidd gets super kicked uh, behind his head. And then um, Cesaro gets super kicked as well with the other Uso. But then it's just Tyson Kidd and the other Uso are legally, you know, the legal men. So basically, 
um, Tyson Kidd, uh, super kick. Well, well, Tyson Kidd hits like a net breaker, then gets the win. And Tyson Kidd, uh, Cesaro are your new WWE Tag Team Champions, which I thought is, I think it's really good. I mean, uh, I like this kind of tag team, and this tag team with, between Cesaro and Kidd is kind of growing on me. I am a fan of that. But I don't know where they're going to go with like, Cesaro and Kidd. I mean, are they going to let them feud with the Ascension? Maybe, I don't know, but I think maybe PTP and I don't know. I don't know where they're going to go with these guys, but it was a really awesome match. And then we get to the confrontation, which I, I thought was probably the one of the best segments of the night. So Sting, uh, Triple H comes out first, and Triple H says that um, the last few weeks has been a bit stressful for Triple H. You know, Sting's get, been getting in his head. Then he says that uh, things got heated between him and, him and Flair last week on Raw. Then he calls out Sting, Sting comes out. Um, Triple H says that um, I'll let you retain your legacy if you just walk away from this and you don't get involved with me. He says that I'll still let you be in the WWE. You can still have a match with somebody else at the WrestleMania, but just not me. I'll let you have like a, I'll, I'll put you in the Hall of Fame. I'll, I'll let you have your own DVD. He's got his own DVD. Does Triple H forget that he's got his own DVD? Best of seen DVD. It's on Amazon. Check it out. I haven't got the DVD yet, but I saw it on Amazon a few months ago. Check it out, the best of Sting. I haven't reviewed it yet, I'll probably review it soon. But yeah, Sting has got his DVD out. We said he's gonna, uh, Triple H says that he's gonna give him more DVDs, he's gonna put, put more content of him on the network, give him another action figure, and there's, and there's things like, well, I'm not I'm not satisfied with that, I want to match with you, Triple H. And then, um, well, and then it, he goes like, and then Triple H goes like, like fine Sting, you wanna match with me? Me and you, Mania! It's gonna be like an old guy's match. It's gonna be me and Sting WrestleMania. This match is gonna draw because we're two old guys from the Attitude Era. And then like um, <laughs> actually said all that. He didn't say that, but that's what if I'm thinking like backstage and stuff. Um, uh, basically Sting and Triple H have a brawl. Sting gets the uh, baseball bat out. Triple H gets a sledgehammer. Sting points the baseball bat. At Triple H and it says he points to the WrestleMania side. Triple H goes, okay, you can have your match because it was what best for business. Uh, then the fourth match tonight was for the Divas title. It was Nikki Bella versus Paige. Nikki Bella gets to win by roll up. She got a handful of tights. So this is probably going to continue going into WrestleMania. Fifth match tonight was for the IC title. BNB, BNB, sorry, versus. Uh, Dean Ambrose. This was a, this was a, an all right match. Here. I didn't think it was a really, I didn't think it was the best match that these two have ever had. But it was an all right match. Like I said, uh, BMB uh, wins by DQ because Dean Ambrose won't let go of the ropes. Um, a lot back and forth here. Um, Dean Ambrose goes for like that that move where he got flips on his back and then he like, does a clothesline. He went um, Ambrose. Um, Barrett counted that into a, a winds of change. Then, um, like I said, Ambrose kicked out. And then, you know, um, Barrett got the win by DQ. And then we get to a segment here. Now, this was a good segment. This is another good segment here where you have um, the uh, Druids come out. We all think it's Taker coming, you know, returning and stuff. Uh, I, knew it, I knew it had something to do with Bray Wyatt. This, so I thought, they're not going to have Taker and Sting like, both on the same show. Like, they're going to have to save, a, you know, they're going to have to save some of the surprises for the next few weeks of Raw. But... Uh, Bray comes out and he says that Taker. Uh, Bray comes out of the casket and says basically Taker has, hasn't been himself for the last couple of years. He said he, he's going to challenge Taker at WrestleMania. So he challenged basically. Um, um, why did I say Sting? I've got Sting on my mind now. I'm about to strip away Sting. So uh, he challenges. Um, uh, uh, challenges Taker to a match. So Bray challenges Taker to a match at WrestleMania. So we'll probably uh, we'll probably see if Taker responds tomorrow on Raw. Uh, then we get to the sixth match tonight was for the U.S. title, Cena versus Rusev. Um, this was very good booking by the WWE. I would say I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the finish. I mean, Cena didn't tap out, but you didn't have Rusev look weak. I mean, he kicked out of of AAs. I mean, he. Uh, he kicked out of AA's counter John Cena submissions. This 
is a guy that, in my opinion, proved tonight to the WWE creative team and the people in charge, like you, Kevin Johns and your Vince McMahon and your Triple H, is that he, Rusev, can be the next WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And uh, Mike, I mean, we had a, I mean, seeing the, I mean, at the end, you had Lana basically interfere, and then uh, Rusev low blowed him, and then seen, uh, and then he got seen in the accolade, and then he won with because Cena passed out. But overall, I thought this match was really well done. Um, it got kind of slow at the beginning because, like, it got very slow in the beginning. Then in the middle, it picked up, and it got re very good in the last like 10 to 15 minutes. It really got very, um, you know, it, it got it, the pace fastened up and it got really good and stuff. So yeah, uh, Rusev won by it, um, pass out because he made Cena pass out. Then the third match tonight, which was Reigns versus Bryan, the winner will face Blythe at WrestleMania. This match was a proving point for Roman Reigns, in my opinion. Uh, Roman Reigns really, in this match, had to prove himself and had to really, basically, had to say. Uh, this was kind of like, in my opinion, Reigns had to prove himself. Like, can I stay in this spot where WWE is putting me right now? It's okay them shoving me up to the main event scene, but can I stay there and can I deliver in the main event scene? And he proved that tonight. I mean, look at the match he had. He had a good, solid match with Daniel Bryan, and Daniel Bryan um, got the best, probably one of the best matches out of Roman Reigns. Um, so far in the WWE, I mean, he got a lot of out of Roman Reigns. One spot of the match where Daniel Bryan goes for his drop kick, and then Reigns comes out with a Superman punch. Then at the end, it's Daniel Bryan. He goes for the roundhouse ass kick on Reigns. Then he goes for that high knee move um, from uh, from the corner. Then Reigns comes out with a spear, gets the win, and Reigns will be facing Lesnar at WrestleMania. A lot of people say it's still going, it's still going to be a triple threat match at WrestleMania. I don't want want it to be a triple threat match in my opinion. I think Daniel Bryan, if you're going to have him, I mean, if he's got no business face at WrestleMania, then you can turn it into a triple threat match. But I don't know. It's kind of a toss up to me. I don't want to really see. Um, I want to see a young guy in that spot like a Roman Reigns. Uh, I don't really see want to see Daniel Bryan. But if Daniel Bryan's in that, that's like if he Daniel, Daniel Bryan's got nothing else to do in the WWE for WrestleMania, we'll just shove him in this match and I think it'll be okay. Maybe he could have a few with a returning Batista, but would that would anybody care about that? I just thought of a name like I like you know Batista and I don't know. I don't know. But what do you guys think of this anyway? So leave your thoughts on all this in the comments section, room, guys. That was my WWE Fastlane 2014 15, why did I keep 15 review of Fastlane. What do you guys think of the show? Leave your thoughts in the comments and touch touching, guys. Right now.